Welcome back again and welcome to Biochemistry. Here in this video, I will discuss about enzyme kinetics and related numerical problems. So let's start. Enzymes are protein in nature with catalytic properties. Thousands of chemical reactions are proceeding very rapidly within a living cell and most of them are mediated by enzymes. They possess some unique properties compared to inorganic catalyst. Although the catalytic activity of an enzyme depends on several factors, now I will talk about enzyme kinetics. In this branch, we are concerned with the rate of enzyme substrate reaction. That means how fast they are and how we can change the speed of the reactions. And when we talk about speed, the first thing that comes in our mind is velocity. But it's not so easy to measure the speed of an enzyme substrate reaction. Suppose an enzyme that is E reacts with single substrate that is S and convert it into single product that is P. Then we can write the reaction in this way. Here enzyme substrate complex that is called ES is stable for a very short duration. Then how we can measure the rate of the reaction? Two scientists called Michaelich and Menten solved this problem and derived a simple equation to determine the rate of a reaction. And the equation is here V0 is the initial velocity and it is measured when the initial substrate concentration has diminished by less than 5% and Vmax is the maximum velocity. When enzyme is saturated with substrate and Km is the Michaelis constant. You can also calculate Vmax and Km from the progress curve in this way. You can expect three different types of numerical problems from this area. Here you have to find out the relationship between Km and S. So in michaelis menten equation I have replaced the value of V0 with Vmax and solve the problem. You can also convert it into fraction as well as in percentage. Here is another problem. Here the relation between S and Km is provided and you have to calculate the relation between V0 and Vmax. I have solved this problem in the same way like I solved the previous problem. In second type of problem, the value of V0, Vmax and substrate concentration is provided. You have to calculate the value of Km. I have used michaelis menten equation to solve this problem. But be careful, sometimes the units are not the same for all the kinetic parameters. So before you start, you have to convert them in this way. And the third type of problem is slightly different. Here the values of K1, K2 and K3 are known. You have to calculate the value of Km and Ks. Here Ks is the dissociation constant of the first step in this enzymatic reaction. If you can remember these two equation, you can able to solve this type of problems. I hope you have remembered the V0 versus S progress curve. It is a rectangular hyperbola and determining the value of Km and Vmax from this graph is quite difficult. So two other scientists called Leinweber and Bark derived a simple equation for you so that you can calculate the value of Km and Vmax very easily. And the plot of 1 by V0 versus 1 by S double reciprocal plot or Leinweber Bark plot. Here the slope of the straight line is Km by Vmax and 1 by Vmax can also be calculated from y axis intercept and minus 1 by Km can also be calculated from x axis intercept. It is good but how to solve numerical problems and what are the types? Here is the first one. Here 1 by V0 is 40 when 1 by S is 0 and 1 by S is equal to minus 1.5 into 10 to the power 2 when 1 by V0 is equal to 0. That means the straight line cross the y axis at 40 and x axis at minus 1.5 into 10 to the power 2. First I will calculate the value of Vmax. We know that y axis intercept is 1 by Vmax. So the value of 1 by Vmax is calculated in this way. Watch carefully the unit is also changed and now I will calculate the value of Km 
and again we know that x axis intercept is minus 1 by km so the value of km is calculated in this way so the answer is a in the second type of problem the value of v max km and s are given you have to calculate the v0 now remember the line over bar equation and put all known parameters to solve this problem if you can remember the equation you can solve any problem related to this topic so that's all for now in the next part i will discuss about turnover number specific activity and enzyme inhibition and related numerical problems press the subscribe button to get regular updates like share and make comments and thanks for watching